Well, I'm Pueo and this is my sister Lilia. We're organic farmers out here at Ono Organic Farms in Kipahulu on the island of Maui. We grow organic bananas, papayas, and a plethora of about 50 different exotic crops. Right here, this is our fertilizer. This is how we do it. This is void of chemicals, void of any inputs. This has never seen fertilizer right here, yet it is the best fertilizer in the world. And I'll stand behind that. I know nobody's got a better soil than this. This is natural volcanic soil with a bunch of beautiful organic matter that's never seen any chemicals. This is, this is how we do it and this is what we strive for here on Ono Farms is gorgeous dirt like this, soil like this. I cut around this, these bananas here to give it some more light about two weeks ago because I saw a ripe cacao on there. I didn't even know the tree was there before I saw the ripe cacao. I remember planting it about eight years ago, but I never remember it being there. We plant it, if it doesn't grow, we're not worried about it. This one right here will literally pop up like this, put it right inside of our harvest trailer, wash this, this all here is just literally decomposed ant. flowers and ant droppings. We're gonna wash this up really nice, send this out to our market. Usually we'll do farmer's market and our restaurant gang is really into the jackfruit. Jackfruit is, is a winner. This tree will put off, the most I've ever counted was 120 fruit at one time. And it fruits twice a year. So this is a breadfruit. It's the staple of the Hawaiian Islands throughout all of Polynesia. I've picked this one green in appearance specifically so that it's higher in starch. This is a, just a wonderful staple for all Polynesian or all people in general. It can be boiled, it can be baked, making chips, french fries, all the above is excellent. And you actually get the benefits of eating a carbohydrate, that complete carbohydrate. Any breadfruit that was brought here that's growing, it was brought here by some Polynesian. It wasn't drifting on the ocean and washed up on a beach or something. Somebody planted that tree, cared for that tree, loved it, took a, took a branch of that tree, scratched the bark off of the tree with a rock, took some coconut fiber, put it on that tree, wrapped it, some cordage around it, waited about six weeks, and there was roots shooting off this tree. They then broke that branch off the tree and carried that on their canoe to Hawaii through those big waves. That's a farmer. That's a farmer That's for dedication. you. dedication. Yeah. We're a family-run farm. We have the greatest parents in the world, and we were all born and raised in this amazing heaven that we can call home. We love everything that we do and take pride in just making our lives and the people around us happy.